Bali is known for being a really popular tourist destination and after spending the last few days in Canggu, we've really started to understand why that is. There are hundreds of beautiful cafes and restaurants, stunning rice fields, beaches and endless activities so there is truly something for everyone. We're now into our final few days in Canggu and we have a few more places that we want to visit. So today was the day that we saw a holy snake. Yeah. Really? Expecting that. And one of these has been at the top of Jasper's list for quite some time now. Good morning everyone, welcome back to another Bali vlog. So we are still in Changu and today we're just kind of having like a chill sort of day. There's meant to be this really cool temple like 30 minutes from here, so you might go see that as well. But we need to start off the day by getting something to eat because I am so hungry. Just come into this place called Mile End and we're gonna get some breakfast. Oh, it's still steamy. What are you gonna get? Classic breakfast with sausage. I'm gonna go for the smoothie bowl. It's so cute in here though. It's very nice here. That looks unreal. Oh my gosh. Does it good? Yours looks crazy. You've got cream as well. So I got mine with oat milk. Good? That's what the doctor ordered. It's like so sweet. Which is what I like. Jasper's food has arrived. Oh, you got fruit. Mine looks so good. Very excited to eat this. Breakfast was so nice. So we're now gonna head to the temple. We've just ordered a go jack to take us there. It's so much cheaper than Grab. Like, yeah, it's like £2. half the price. So yeah, I don't know why. We're gonna get one of those and head to the temple. So the temple that we're visiting is called Tana Lot and it's probably one of the most famous ancient Hindu temples in Bali. So this bit we're walking on, you can only walk on it when it's low tide and then the temple... Can you get to it? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah! I think this bit's normally all water, like you see the puddles yeah. at high tide and the water comes all the way up here but then people say it looks like a floating temple yeah it was built to worship the sea god now we've also learned that this temple gets super busy towards the evening as it's an amazing place to watch sunset it also costs 60,000 indonesian rupiah each to enter the temple being honest we weren't really sure what was going on here but we were just kind of going along with it and later we realized that this is actually a rice blessing so you start off by splashing your face with some holy water for purification and then rice is placed on your forehead for success and good fortune and they also put this flower behind your ear as well so we've had our we've got our flowers and we've got rice in here is apparently a holy snake and I genuinely wasn't expecting there to be a real snake, but there was. So I was a little bit scared, but this snake is here to protect the temple from evil. So today was the day that we saw a holy snake. Yeah, I really? wasn't expecting that. No, I think that's the first time we've seen snakes. I think it's the first time I've seen a snake, like, not in a zoo. Yeah. Interesting. So in Bali they have tons of these little offerings that they put on the street. You literally see them everywhere here in Bali. And it's essentially a way of them getting like gods to come down and like nurture the earth and what else does it say? And to protect the people. And so instead of praying up to a god they they sort of do an offering for the gods to come to the earth to nurture the land and protect the people. There we go. So if you ever see any so of these in Bali that's why they're everywhere but you gotta be careful because sometimes when we're walking down the street they're just like literally dotted about everywhere and i yeah, I, where you stand. yeah you just have to be careful where you're stepping because i i almost kicked one the other day and i felt like the worst human being so yeah just be aware so now we're just gonna head back towards our hotel a nice little trip out yeah. simple trip yeah super I quite easy i like it when you do a trip where it's like we didn't plan it at all, we just woke up and was like, oh, should we just go there? Should we just go, yeah. Once you can just get like a taxi, it's not like a guided tour, you just do what you want. Yeah, exactly. More spontaneous. It's nice. We're now back at the hotel, we're gonna chill out for a bit and then probably go back out again later. It's 
time to head for dinner. I really have made no effort tonight, but you know, it's a chill night, so I'm not sure where we're gonna go, do you know? Nope. We're gonna explore, see what we fancy, but yeah, I'm feeling quite tired today. So I'm ready for a nice chilled evening. Are you ready, Jasper? I'm ready. Let's go. So we've this restaurant that we went to the other day, and I got a nasty grang, no. Why does my head look so big? It does actually. Why does your head look so big? <laughs> it must be the angle. Um, I got a me gareng and so I got that again. We also got a nasty gareng and a coconut. We got coconut, mozzarella and tomato roti and milkshake. This is the me gareng and this is the nasty gareng. They look so good, don't they? It's very hot. <laughs> Good? Very nice. I'm actually kind of embarrassed by how much washing we have to do. Like, we have this huge bag. We were going to go the day before yesterday, but it was closed. Then we didn't realise it was closed again yesterday. So it's closed Sunday and Monday. So today we're taking this absolutely huge bag of laundry to get cleaned. So that's what we need to start the day off by doing. Because hopefully if we drop it, off, drop it off this morning, we might be able to pick it up later. Because I have zero clothes now. Like, we really need to get on top of our laundry. But anyway, we're going to do that first. And then we'll probably get some breakfast or something. And then we're thinking of doing a surfing lesson. We're going to head down to the beach and see what the waves are looking like. But I don't want to do it in, like, super big waves. I just want, like, little waves. And down at Changu Beach, there can be, like, huge waves. So that's kind of why I want to have a little wander down there and, like, assess the situation before we commit to a surf lesson. So, yeah, that's all we're going to be doing today, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> So we dropped off the washing um, and we can pick that up tomorrow. So at least we'll have some new clothes <laughs> tomorrow, finally. <laughs> I feel like I've been wearing this shirt for like so many days now. We've been to the avocado factory. <laughs> As Jasper said, we went we went to the avocado factory and it was kind of mediocre to be honest. I had kind of high expectations because the photos of it looked incredible. It doesn't look like the photos. Doesn't look like the photos. And like I had poached eggs, but the poached eggs were like swimming in water. So it just really wasn't the vibe. So yeah. Mine was really nice. Yeah, yours not. And the juice was really nice as well. It was just a bit like, it's just kind of mediocre to be honest. It's not bad, it's only tenner. It, yeah, it was literally only ten pounds, so can't complain. Bargain. Anyway, we're gonna go have a little walk down to the beach and see what the waves are looking like. There's literally no one surfing today. I don't think there's enough wave. So, yeah, kind of sucks. So, change of plan. Obviously, because the surfing wasn't really a surfing day, we decided to be spontaneous and go to a water park. So, we literally just booked it now. It's about an hour drive from here. So, we're going to head there now. And yeah, it looks like such a cool water park. So many slides, so many like rubbering slides, which are my absolute favourite. Jasper lives for a water park. <laughs> So yeah, that's what we're heading to today. So we're gonna order a Gojek there and enjoy a day at a water park. I feel like we weren't expecting this, but we're just gonna go for it. It's very good very actually. Good. I'm picking up pace.
it's like the best. It's the best? Yeah, it's the best slide we've done. It's so Easy. scary. <laughs> That's for maybe going on it twice. It was good. You gotta admit, it was fun. Yeah, it was pretty good to be fair. <sighs> what a day. It's been the best day. I just wasn't like this morning. I was just feeling a bit tired. Like when this, when the waves for the surfing just wasn't very good, I was a bit like, uh. and then when Jasper said let's go to a water park, I was a bit like, can I actually be bothered? Um, but I'm so glad we went. It was probably one of the best water parks I've ever been to. Like the slides were so fun. Some of them were actually kind of terrifying. There was Get one. Screaming. I literally there was this one that we went on, and I was just not expecting us to go that fast, that high. Like I literally screamed. It was so terrifying. Um, but also it was so fun. Like so much adrenaline. It was such a good day. It was like so clean, so nice. Cost like twenty five pound each, was it? Yeah, I think it was like forty nine pound for both of us. So yeah, twenty five each basically so not too bad and also i think you get discount if you book online rather than pay when you're there which is what we did we just quickly booked online this morning definitely recommend if you want to do some fun whilst you're in bali and we were there for like five hours that was plenty of time you literally don't need all day there we went no, on this we just got lucky because there was no queues yeah, yeah that was, that was very good on. we also tried mcdonald's in bali on the way back which i'll upload as a little youtube shorts on my channel um so make sure you go check that out but for now we're gonna chill out for the rest of the day it's actually so crazy how tiring it sounds ridiculous but how tiring it is to just be out in the sunshine like all day and also um like just going up and down all the steps in the water park like i'm exhausted from that like i mean it's a good problem to have but yeah i feel so tired we're definitely gonna sleep well tonight so yeah i think we're just gonna chill out for the rest of the evening but i shall catch you guys in the morning good morning everyone my hair is so curly i did like the overnight heatless curls but this like drops out in like five minutes after walking outside. So yeah, it won't be staying like this for very long. But today we're going to Finn's Beach Club. And I'm so excited. So if you don't know Finn's Beach Club, it's apparently, I think we read it was like the number one beach club. Is it in the world? Yeah, I don't know if that's just what they Yeah, I don't know if they just like call it that. So I've got my bikini on. I've put some curls in my hair. Little tiny bit of makeup, nothing crazy. No foundation or anything because I will literally just sweat it off and um, you have to do like a minimum spend so we just booked like the cheapest on bed so we have to spend 90 pound there between us so it's technically like free entry because you get everything back on like food and drinks and that but you do have like a minimum spend so we're gonna head there now and you actually can't bring cameras in there i don't know why i guess it's just their rules so i will obviously be getting some clips for you guys so i'm just gonna take my phone and film on that so yeah we're currently just getting ready it's only like a 10 minute taxi from where we're staying so it shouldn't be too bad there are also lots of other beach clubs that you can go to in changu but when this one says it's the number one beach club we're just like we have to go there's definitely a lot more cheaper ones. I think there's a lot more chill beach clubs. And we were kind of like um and ah in between which beach club we actually go to. But we just thought, when in Bali, you got to go fin. So that's where we're going to today. so fun like i'm so glad we went to that beach club in the end i feel like i would have had sort of like a fomo of like if we didn't go there and we went to a different beach club so i'm so glad we did go there in the end we we pretty much stayed there the whole day so i think we got there around Jasper was just sipping on some water 
<laughs> we got there around 12 o'clock and then we stayed there until just after sunset so yeah we've pretty much been there most of the day so we were in the vip section it was only 50,000 more than the beds in the normal section which is around two pound 50 so it's really not that much more expensive being in the vip section but you do get a lot more extras so we got free iced coffees you get like free like mist it's all like little bits just like they do add quite a lot i feel like we got a free welcome mimosa um what else did we get free you just get like these little extras which is just such a nice touch coffee, yeah juice unlimited water yes uh free ice cream or like sorbet thing. yeah free sun cream you can't bring in any water so if you bring water in they keep it at the entrance and just put a little tag on your water so you can pick it up when you leave but you can't take any food no drinks they check your bags so yeah definitely recommend doing the vip and it's also nice like where the main part was like to in the evening it got quite like loud there were so many people in the pool um whereas in the like vip section it was a little bit more chilled so if that's what you prefer as well but you can just go in all the sections like we went in basically all the different pools and if you get there before 3 p.m you have have a lower minimum spend so it's like half of it. yeah it's so much cheaper get there before 3 p.m so definitely do that if you do go so yeah now this morning we woke up we're packing up our stuff because we're leaving Changu today and we're heading to Ubud and we've got a villa I'm just so excited about it this is the one thing that I've been so I've been excited about all travel but when we booked this I was like I can't wait to like have our own little like villa it's just gonna be so cute so that is what we're heading to today i shall catch you in the next vlog in Ubud. thank you guys so much for watching bye in the next episode we check into our villa in the Ubud jungle and spend some time relaxing it's just absolutely stunning out here so nice but then things take a turn guys we've had the most traumatic evening oh my god where is it